If you spent your days cruising around Chesterfield Mall, well, now you can own a piece of it as it prepares to close for good. Fox News Patrick Clark looks at the auction that could land you a store sign, video games, and other items for the venue's heyday. Max Lehman has been intrigued by Chesterfield Mall for some time. So when he heard there were items being auctioned off by Piddle Creek Mercantile and Auctions, he decided to get in on the action. I bought a cart from what you, from the former Sears, and I also got some of the social media signs from that were advertising Chesterfield Mall social media. While pickleball games are the biggest action these days inside the mall, Friday afternoon at Chesterfield Mall, buyers arriving to pick up their purchased items after Thursday night's auction closed. Items from the AMC movie theater for sale, along with various knickknacks. From $1 items to hundreds of dollars spent for computers, speakers, and more. Yeah, we had different signs from the movie theater, uh, signs from throughout the mall, the, um, the directory signs, some of the directory maps. We do have more directory maps. I know it's kind of been popular. People just want a, a blueprint of the map or of the mall, you know, and remind them of where all the stores were at. All tenant leases ending August 31st at Chesterfield Mall. The old mall to be demolished beginning in October a new mixed-use development to come in its place. From old Macy's and Sears signs to seasonal reindeer that would appear inside the mall, lots of amazing things to purchase and make your own Chesterfield Mall in your basement. Sometimes I just get, um, like, missing these old places and sentimental of these places. Like, I went to one of the last Sears in Florida a little while ago, and now I want to go to one of the Kmarts. And I just like all these old stores and just exploring them and seeing, trying to figure out what really caused the downfall. Piddle Creek Mercantile has another list of items for sale, that auction ending Tuesday, August 20th. In Chesterfield Mall, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. That young man had so many things to say. I love listening to him. An important